I rise today because, believe it or not, yet again, it's infrastructure week here. For decades, our country has been calling for investment to bring our infrastructure into not just the future, but at this point, the present. For months, we've been meeting both Democrats and Republicans to get this bill to work for all of us. And now it's time to take action and pass it for the American people. And the stakes could not be higher. Nevada, where I'm from, has been ground zero for this pandemic. We are ground zero for the effects of climate change, but more importantly, we're ground zero for the promise and the economic opportunities in this bill. Roads, bridges, access to broadband, electric vehicles, electric buses, clean energy, water solutions for the West. All of this is needed and all of it will benefit my state and every corner in this country. And that's why we have to put politics aside, come together and pass this legislation now. You know, I came to Congress because I was tired of the bickering and the dysfunction and the gridlock. I was tired of politics as usual. Safer roads and bridges, these are not partisan political issues. We have the opportunity to pass these investments for every single American and create millions of good paying jobs and strengthen our recovery and get our economy back on track. The time to deliver solutions is now. Thank you, and I yield the balance of my time.